hello and welcome let's see if anybody's gonna hop in on this live short notice video now today we're going to start a series of tutorial that's going to be called makeup made easy okay because sometimes there's so many regulations you have some you have to have so many brushes and so many stuff that you can't get your head around and like hmm, i just don't do it i can't be bothered well we are all in quarantine we have plenty of time and i'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that you can master this and make it really easy so by the time you have to go to work and you have to dress up you're going to be able to get it done and nail it really quickly um a few things that i do recommend you to have and if you don't have don't worry absolutely use your fingers but one is a beauty blender um uh, they are fantastic now this is the difference of a beauty blender that has not been soaked on water and gonna feel like you're slapping your face and a beauty blender that has been soaked on water and it feels like it actually has a cooling feeling so if you have a little bit of puffiness on your face this is going to be great now if you haven't watched my tutorial in how to plump and pump your skin early in the morning as soon as you wake up go back and watch that later okay so to start today i'm gonna show you how to do it in a simple way and with a few tools if you have um i like to start by moisturizing my skin and applying sunblock now i really moisturize my skin so i'm gonna put a non-greasy sunblock and gonna let that soak a little bit you can't just down here you can't just apply makeup in a dry face because what it's going to do is going to enhance all your wrinkles and crinkles and we don't want that okay now i'm gonna apply a little bit of a lip balm so while i'm doing everything else hi jesse while i'm doing everything else this is hydrating this is soaking in okay would i do this straight away before i apply makeup no i normally will do this go brush my teeth come back or do my hair so it gives time to soak in but today for the sake of this we're just gonna jump straight in okay now look at your skin what do you need on your skin less is more if you don't need full face foundation don't do a full face foundation if you have a little bit of a pink cheek and you don't want those i love those i specifically apply a creamy blush on my face every day so i can have pink cheeks but if you don't like those then by all means um covered with foundation but you literally got gotta see what do you need on your skin and what you don't need on your skin if you're at home apply a bb cream go light don't go full powder this all of that stuff just gonna enhance and cut the breathing out of your skin you know your skin won't be able to breathe da, 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 da. so let's start i'm talking too much hey jess i blah, 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 blah. <laughs> teacher teacher guys so concealer any concealer that you have now that's one thing i don't go out without it because i have very very dark eyes i don't necessarily need foundation all over my face but i do need concealer and i use my fingers I'm not advertising what I'm using. Any concealer you have, what you like to use, that's what you use. Um, I am applying under here. And some people say do concealer last. Dark circles is something that I target on my face. So I do first because after I have done that, I might not need much because I'm happy with my face. And then why would I keep applying more stuff? So I have very red eyelids, so I do apply that. I'm going to get closer so you can see. Forgive me if I'm looking a different way because I am looking at my mirror. Okay, a girl got to see what she's doing. Um, Why am I using my finger? Why don't you use a brush? Do you have a brush? Do you want to use a brush? Use it. I apply here to cover the curves. I don't use a brush because the heat of my fingers makes the concealer go around more i didn't apply um uh <laughs> how do you call 
a primer into my skin because I am I don't have the intention to do base on my skin, foundation on my skin. Not today. I'm at home. If you do, if you can't live without it, do it. This is a quiz, quick, easy day tutorial to walk out of the door and look great. If I'm in a hurry, my kids are screaming around. Two fingers, you know, who has time? Two fingers here, you know, two hands. The both times I like, see how it brightens this area. Now I need to brighten here because underneath the chin sometimes wakes up a little bit yellow and this is where I get my pimples um, yeah after becoming old I start getting pimples I do it here because light uh, brings up shadows hide so I if I have a lot of shadow here it's going to aid you you apply a little bit of light it brings up okay uh, I do want to shadows on this area, but I want light here, light here, and light here. Okay, those are the areas that you want light. Um, now, less is more. Let's all face it, after your 30s, and I am on, almost on my 40s, this starts to wrinkle, okay? And you don't want to put too much here because it's going to show. So I am happy with what I got, and most of the times when I go to work, People say, oh, you look amazing. It took me minutes to do it. It doesn't take me forever. This is it. Now, if you want to get a BB cream, get a BB cream of your preference. Um, and you can, you know, apply this on the areas that you don't have concealer. Just to level up the tones of your skin. If you want to. Why do I start with concealer? Because to me, I target what I don't like. And I don't like the dark circles. It makes me look tired. Once I have done that, do I need much else on my face? Where do I need? See? That's what you're going to ask yourself. My skin, my face, different than yours. It's not, no makeup is going to look the same. And people do that, that mistake. They, they want to look like such and such. No, look like you. A better you. Okay, now I am going to do bronzer. Um, and if you don't have a bronzer, any eyeshadow. Here we go. I love this palette and, and it's dirty and it's been very well loved. It goes everywhere with me because it has two sides. And I use blush, highlighter, bronzer, browns. Um, has my favorite colors, burgundy. And here you have more highlighter and some other neutral tones. So, and it's made by a New Zealand girl, a YouTuber actually. So if you don't have bronzer, is any shadow that you have. You will have to blend them more. Now this is the trick. I'm using Thin Lizzy. This is the trick. This is your eye. Okay, you don't want to pass that. Because if you do, it's going to droop your face instead of left. See how I put my chin down, I can see the apples of my cheeks here. Now, if you want, you can do the fish face. Okay? That's where it's going to go. Right there. Less is more. Okay? Just that little bit. Now, sometimes people have that straight line. I also do my brush this side. Okay? I go like this. Don't have a brush like that? Fine. Do you have a brush that is... That comes with the Thin Lizzy kit? Like this? Squeeze it. You can do the same thing. Squeeze the, the brush like this. And it will give you that. Okay? I'll do on the other side for you. Using the same thing. See? Don't go past here. Uh-uh. Because it will aid you instead of left, it's going to drop. Can you see the clear line now? You want to buff this, okay? Because otherwise, you're going to look like you have dirt on your face and you don't want that. And I also do it like this, see? Now, double chin. 
or do you want to plump that jawline go under here this area is normally very light and when you add shadow especially if you have short hair like i have now it brings lights here and takes away the shadow from here so you kind of get that feeling that your neck is really wide so shadow here short hair do this double chin do this do you just want to plump your chin do this <laughs> Mm. Yes, baby. This is my son running. Close the door, please. There we go. That was Lucas. Now, big forehead. I don't. I was born without one. Big forehead. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Now, bye bye. Close the door. Hello. Hello. Bye. Shoo -shoo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Mwah. Um. Here we go. Big forehead again. Get your brush, squeeze, okay? And then you're gonna go here, and you're gonna go here. Whatever you, whatever you put in this, let me put more here so you guys can see. That's the thing, camera makeup is different than real makeup. Because in camera makeup, you have to do more for people to see. Real makeup, I won't put this much. Or maybe I will, you know, that they said you feel crazy and you do much. Oh, I went too far. I put it here. And then if you did foundation, use your foundation brush and just dab it here. So you bring it back to the level here. Okay? You don't want to go past here. Um, so look at that. This is how it's looking now. I don't put it here because I was born without this. Okay? <laughs> um, all right. If you... If you're alive, please comment so I know you're there. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask and I'll try to answer. Now, blush. Any blush that you have, again, when I'm in a hurry, this is all I do. Bronzer blush. Now you're going to see the miracle of blush. Okay? Cheeks. Blush. Do you see how much it got there? So it got too much. So I straight away... Realize it's too much there. I jump to this side to puff the rest of the blush out of my brush on this side. I like going up here. And I like, now I'm, I have less on my brush. I'm going to go there, back there, puff it up. And blend. The secret is to blend. Reason being, why do I go up here? Why don't I go here? Why don't, I have bronzer here. I don't want anything there. I don't want anything here. Because if I was 16, that you look great. You look like I have plumpy chicks. I am not 16. So I'm not going to go past this area here either. Okay, unless you want to look like, you know, it's summer. You want to have a little bit of sunburn imitation type of makeup and then do it. So you do here. You do there. If you don't have any other brush, I do. But I'm going to show you what you can do with this. You want to marry your foundation to what is going on on your eyes. And I'm going to show you how beautiful it looks. I'm still using the same brush, guys. I haven't changed. going to apply a little bit more because, again, you are in camera. You don't see as much. You see me in real life, I look like a colorful unicorn. Um, look at the left. Even my brown looks lifted. Just by applying a little bit of your blush here, a little bit of your blush here, not passing your blush from here. Okay? Again. You're not applying too much powder on your face. You're not applying too much makeup on your face. And you're really, I feel like I look great. I feel like I look fantastic um, in camera. Real life, I think, is a bit too much. <laughs> now, on the other side, I'm going to use my brush. Which is, this is like a very good brush. Any round, fluffy brush, because you want to do on that bone crease. Okay? It gives you more control. Too much. Rub it on your hands. 
sometimes if you have used this makeup on the day before and you want to repeat the look now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get a cleaner brush and i'm just gonna mix a little bit buff it all out sorry i'm looking at my mirror A little bit on the nose the chin looks pale bring it back forehead bring it back okay again i absolutely love the pink blush tone if you like uh, no, just, uh, i i'd rather do this on the more the brown tones use your bronzer please you don't need to use something else okay now let's look after browns do I want a bushy browns? No. Do I want a nice looking browns? Yes, I do. Any brown eyeshadow, and I'm using eyeshadow lighter than your brown color, okay? So, I like to go much lighter than my brown color. It's just a preference. And I'm looking at the... <laughs> okay, now I need a mirror. Sorry. What am I correcting on my brow? Not much. Okay. I am doing my arch. I do a little bit here. Again, do you need to correct more? By all means, do what it feels right for your brow. Do you feel like you need more um, a flat brush like this? And then you can create a straight line. And I'm only using powder. Oh, I like to use a creamy thing. I have creamy things. If you don't, don't need to go buy. Train with what you got first. There are some uh, brown things that you can get that is even like waterproof. And they are fantastic. Now, I'm going to brush my browns, and that's one thing that I love to do. And I am looking for the guy. I use this brown plumber. It has a brown, it's like a lash thing, but it has a brown thing. It's like a mascara lash thing. Oop, and I make a mess. Don't touch, let it dry, and then you just flick. And again, <laughs> I better get my mirror. Hold on. There we go. Mirror is much better. I don't touch that. I will just flick it off. Now, my lip has a lot of moisturizer. If you're going for a very nice and glossy look, by all means, just add um, a nice lipstick. If you're not, just damp it a little bit on your hands, on the back of your hands, and then apply your lipstick. I could seriously put mascara and go out the door right now. And it, I think it looks good. I think I look awake and we could end the tutorial here. However, <laughs> there is one more trick that I want to show you. And no, I have not, I need the mirror again. Sorry, guys. Life is life. So a lot of people think I spend a lot of time doing this and I actually don't. Um, there we go. Um... There are days that I do. There are days that I don't. Um, there we go. I'm looking for a brush. Now, you can use a brush that's like this. A smaller brush. Or you can use... I have a favorite one. <laughs> and you have to have some practice with makeup to use this one. But this one is like flat. See? And what I do, you can see that I love burgundy and pink. Um, I get, I'm going to use these two colors of this palette, that very dirty palette, because it's very loved, okay? And I tap just the half of the brush together, and then I come here. I 
I'm applying back and forth up and lower lash on the same time. Okay, now if you're going to hide there like I did, um, get an ultra one. And then you easily bring it down. Okay, where did the brush go? I promise you guys I'm going to be cleaning my brushes today because it's a mess. So those are looks you can practice while at home. You know, learning to take care of yourself. So when you're off quarantine, you'll be rocking new looks out there. Now what I want to do, I want to get the darker one. So again, this one here. And I'm trying to just look at the camera off the phone. Rub it with your fingers. You don't want too much. There we go. I'm happy with this look. A little, whatever you do on top, you do on the bottom. Whatever you do here, you do here. Okay? Now, it's needing a little bit of a blend. Can you see that's a little bit uneven there? So you want to blend that. Or buff it up. Okay. Um, I have a very nice eyeliner that's nowhere to be found right now. So while I'm thinking where I place it, I'm going to do this side. There is always one side that's easier to do than the other. I find that. But... You can't really go wrong. Of course, I'm not going to chuck a black in here if I don't have any experience with makeup. But chuck a color. That's, that's why I'm using two tones, working with two colors. Because I start with the light. And then when the dark is like this, I'm like, okay, now it's time to blend. Turn my brush around where there is less product and blend that. Because the ends needs to be darker. So it lifts up your eye. Again, you could have ended without doing this. You could have ended just with whatever you had. It's almost like turning a day look into a night look. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, one more thing. I found the thing that I was looking for. I gotta love these colors. A burgundy. This is Revlon. It's waterproof. Blah, blah, blah. But I just love it. Now, why am I holding here? You know, as you age, your eyelid creases. And you get a ton of hundreds of extra wrinkles in there. And what are you doing? You're just making those creases stretching them out so you can apply now the bottom line I put it on my eye and I close my eyes I like it messy I don't like a straight line and I'm just doing half of my eye here and the same thing here Okay, and I'm going to go with my blending brush again. And I'm going to smudge. Hold. Ooh. This one needs a little bit more smudging. Ooh la la, <laughs> done, you know, did it take so long, no, lipstick, didn't take that long, okay, what's your favorite color for lips, you know, with this look, I think I want to go quite natural on my lip, I don't want to go too dark, and oh, my natural lips are probably at work, in my work bag, so, <laughs> I'm just going to contour, 
Do you need to do this? No. It does help your lipstick to last longer, but no lipstick gonna last past your morning tea once you eat. Okay, I'm packing way too much into this. So we're gonna finalize with this lipstick. It's just an Avos Avon sample that I have. And of course, Mascara. Now, this is going to be tricky. <laughs> I'm going to need the mirror, guys. Hello, Del. Here we go. Now, Del, if you only join in, we're talking about how to make makeup easy and how less is more. How sometimes not doing a full face of makeup enhances more your beauty than when you do it. So... Oh, I'm loving those lashes of mine, guys. I have been working hard on keeping them healthy. And they are paying off. Look at that. I had no lashes, so... The fact that I can see them on camera, I'm happy. Again, I'm going to have to look on my mirror. And there's a few dropouts there. I'll clean that up. I blink as I apply mascara and I'm not the type of person that does one, two, three coats of mascara. If you're wanting that look, you can go for it, but this is supposed to be easy and quick. Um, there are days that I will go full glam and put the fakes and do everything else. Now I'm just going to clean up whatever is out of place there. I have a few lashes that has dropped here. And again, there is no foundation in this look. And concealer did all the job. I could have concealed this mark, but I don't want to. I don't need to. I don't feel the need to. I'm going to spray a setting spray on this just because I want it to last. And it's so hot in here. I kind of feel like I need to. Okay, and that's it. Um, go back and watch uh, the full tutorial if you didn't catch me on the beginning. This is just a series that I'm making again in how to get you out of the door looking fantastic, easy and quick tips. Remember, less is more. You want to work with what you have and you want to enhance it with what you have. If you have too many colors on your face, do a BB cream. You don't always need to apply full foundation. Avoid powders. Why would you keep putting powders on your face? Powders is just going to enhance every single line that you have. And less is more on this area. And hydration is a must. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, Dell. Thank you, Jesse. And it's time for me to go. Thank you for tuning in. And see you next time. Bye.